Joining us to discuss this live in the studio is Leonard Ebute, a public affairs analyst. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Phyllis. What was the feelings like when you heard that Gambari has been confirmed as the new chief of staff? Oh, well, um, because the office of the chief of staff is a little personal to the president, he has absolute right to decide what kind of person would better serve him. Um, of course, this, this, this government is a little gerontocratic if you look at it critically, but then it's the president's prerogative, so I can't question it. Uh, the man is competent, he's a professor, he's a renowned politician, and he has the pedigree to do the job if he wants to do it. Um, I, I spoke to uh, public affairs analysts uh, same yesterday uh, during the off the press just before the uh, confirmation was made and he expressed a very high level of reservation as to uh, the antecedents of this um, a man who has become the chief of staff. He had advised even before the confirmation that uh, Buhari, Buhari should rethink the decision of making this man uh, his chief of staff. What, what do you say to critics who say that um, he might not have been the very best choice. I mean, I, I don't think it's, it's like me deciding who will be my domestic servant. What I look for is extremely personal. Like Gambari just said, his allegiance is totally to the president and hopefully by extension, the nation. But in picking that kind of very personal, very sensitive, um, you look for loyalty primarily even before competence. Because in all the other areas of competence, you have competent people around you. You need a, a converging point that you can trust. And so even if the man is a criminal, even if he's uh, a kidnapper, even if he's what in his past, maybe there is some affinity with the president that has built trust with the president to warrant entrusting such a critical and close role to, to, to him. So I, I don't think it's my place to question why, how, what, if. If he was a minister, then we'll talk about it. All right, we're joined by another public affairs analyst, Golaho Ulojede. He joins us via telephone. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, quickly, um, did the announcement of Gambari as the new chief of staff come as a surprise to you? Uh, not exactly. I, I think uh, he has been one of the names that have been in the rumor mills that is, is being considered for the position. And when you put him beside some of those other names that we heard about, um, I, I, I think he can, he can uh, he easily could have come talks. So I, I wasn't exactly surprised that uh, it was the one that was picked. So how do you react to his, one of his first statements? Um, he, he was said to have said he will report to the president and uh, not to the public. Is this a good omen for someone who is the chief of staff to the president? I, I think he's setting the tone for our expectations. Don't forget that this man is a top diplomat. The, the, the citizens have an expectation about the chief, uh, the CSO, to, to, to the uh, uh, president, the chief of staff, rather. And, and that expectation is not exactly correct. The chief of staff is a staff of the president and it's not a staff of the citizen. And I, 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 it's part of what will help us to be able to understand him better when he gets in the saddle and starts working. It's, it's just helping us to manage our expectations. Now look, I report to the president, not to the citizen. All right, um, Leonard, how effective do you think, based on the history, his professional background that we've seen, how effective do you think he will be uh, as an addition to the Buhari cabinet? Okay, your reaction. Okay, so I think that, um, the importance of the office of the chief of staff is as fluid as the office itself. The president determines how important his chief of staff can be in his cabinet. Abakari, the later Abakari was pretty powerful. 
because he was allowed to be powerful. And you could see that transition of power from the first tenure into the second tenure where the office was better glorified and so on. And so the performance of any chief of staff is directly correlated to the president's activities. But in terms of personal competence, I mean, you can't be a professor and will be accusing you of incompetence. If you have been to a university, you know that it doesn't come cheap. And if he, if he has served in the public space for as long as Gambari has, you would understand that you would be a scarce. So with respect to his critics and all that, he is no worse qualified or better qualified than the people that have served in the office. Like I said earlier, he can really, really be important and, and good for the cabinet, but he may just be nothing, depending on what the president needs him for. Um, let me come back to you, Bolaho. What's your reaction to reservations being expressed about his age? He is uh, over 70 at the moment. Some people are saying um, he should someone of a much younger age, uh, maybe in the 60s, would have been a better fit for someone who is also over the age of 70 as president. <laughs> Anyway, because I think the president himself is uh, 77. This gentleman is 75. They, they probably can relate very well. They, they are age groups. But you see, my biggest fear about this age thing is the fact that nothing is going to change. And that is because Professor Gambari is an establishment person. He has served about four or five presidents in the past. He has served the incumbent in a previous life as well. So as far as anyone is expecting a transformation from an establishment person has a false hope. So that, that is the only thing. Nothing phenomenal is going to change. The thinking is going to be alike. The way they look at things is going to be alike. And that, that's what we're going to get. Okay, uh, Leonard, wh wh why do you think there is so much reaction? If, from what you said, he is just a personal um, um, aide to the president, why is there so much reaction to and you know speculation and concerns about the choice of the president? Well, like it goes back to the last chief of staff. He was pretty important in that cabinet, and people felt that that seat should be commanded by someone clearly better, someone clearly more progressive that will sell the right ideas to the president and get the president going. But like Bolahan mentioned, this president is no more interested in transformation, obviously. He wants to coast to 2023. He's taking it easy. He's an old person. He wants a friend as his chief of staff, someone he can relate to personally, and they can talk about old stories like our grandfathers talk about. So when you are in that mode, and that's exactly the mode that Nigeria is right now, that's the tone of the Buhari government right now, you really just want calm. You don't want an aggressive young innovator like you and I or some other person who is willing to build a name for himself to say, I was here. I saw this, I did this, you know. You would go for someone like this. So the opera from Nigerians, first I don't think is justified because they ought to have seen the tone of the presidency and they, know, they should accept that it's the prerogative of the president who becomes chief of staff. But I can understand it because all we can do is vent. So if we can just vent, it helps the blood pressure, but I don't think it's a very productive exercise. <laughs> All right, uh, Gulaha, before we let you go, one last question. People are reacting and saying there's a possibility this has some connection with the 2023 uh, elections. Do you see his appointment as having, um, having, having any effect on the outcome of the 2023 general elections? You mean the, the current appointment? Yes. I, I, don't, I don't see it. Um, definitely what you have is an incumbent wants to influence the choice of the successor. And the fact that it is Buhari and Gambari that we are talking about, they are thought are likely to be aligned. So, like I said, nothing is going to change, really. The way Buhari would think is most likely the way Gambari would think about the choice of the successor. 
So I, 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 there, there can't be any big difference by virtue of the choice of Gambari as the chief of staff. All right, Bulaha, thank you very much for your time on the news. You're welcome. Thank you, too. And Luna, thank you very much for coming on the news. We appreciate your time. Pleasure.